everyone. I'm here to read you a special story out of the Frozen 5-Minute Storybook. It's called Elsa's Gift. It's the perfect story to read at Christmas time. So let's get started. Snow fell quietly on Arendelle, blanketing the kingdom in white. The townspeople waded through the deep snowdrifts. Snowflake tickled children's noses and melted on their tongues. Everyone welcomed the snow. For this time, it was not Queen Elsa's doing. It was winter. Elsa and I watched from the castle window as our subjects prepared for the winter ball that evening. Elsa smiled. For the first time since her childhood, the kingdom's gates were open. Her ice magic was under control, and most important, she and her sister were friends again. Well, of course we were. We were best friends. Well, we are best friends. <laughs> Suddenly, I grabbed my sister's arm and dragged her from the window. Come on, I said. We have so much to do to get ready for the ball. Elsa chuckled. Anna was right. There was still a lot more to do. Well, of course I was right. Elsa and I had been working hard for days. Decorations hung from every wall and the castle glittered with Elsa's frosty magic. But there were still some final touches to add. While Elsa finished icing the banquet room, I raced to the kitchen. There, I said, coming back with a tray full of crumb cake. What a wonderful dessert. For the dessert table, what do you think, Elsa? But Elsa wasn't paying attention. Earth to Elsa, I called. Elsa looked at me and smiled. My act of true love have saved her and Arendelle. I guess Elsa wanted to do something special to show everyone how much she loved me. Glancing around the banquet room, she had an idea. I, um, I have to go, she told me. Hmm. Wonder where she has to go. She raced out the door and almost ran right into Olaf. Well, that's very easy to do. Hi, Elsa, Olaf said. Where are you going? To the kitchen, Elsa said. I'm going to make cookies for Anna. Do you want to help? I don't know, Olaf in the kitchen and baking cookies? I'm not sure if that's a very good idea, Elsa. The pair headed to the kitchen and locked themselves inside. They had just started getting ingredients together when... I knocked on the door. Elsa, are you in there? I called. Don't come in, she said. You'll ruin your surprise. Elsa and Olaf waited till they heard me walk away. Then they finished gathering the ingredients. You know, you Elsa. know Elsa said to the snowman. I don't think you should go anywhere near the oven. Olaf exclaimed, wagging, waving his twiggy arms. What could possibly go wrong? Soon, the two were busy making extra gingery gingerbread men. For me, my favorite. The cookies turned out perfectly. Elsa only had to refreeze Olaf seven times. Seven times! Oh my goodness, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times? That's a lot. Next, Elsa decided to make my favorite punch. She was stirring the punch when I walked into the kitchen. You can't be in here, she exclaimed. I'm working on your surprise. I just want to, I started, but Elsa cut me off. Just go to your room, Anna, Elsa said. Turning her back on me, I'll see you later. It didn't make me very happy. I don't think that would make anyone happy. What do you think? No, not really. She's only trying to hide her surprise from me, but it still hurt my feelings. 
I left and Elsa finished making the punch. Then she went back to the ballroom. Everything looked beautiful, but there was nothing special. Elsa thought for a minute. Then, waving her hands, she created, created a glitter ice sculpture of me. Of me! <laughs> just then, Kristoff came into the room. I just saw Anna in the courtyard, he told her. She said you told her to go away. She seems upset. Oh no, I didn't mean to hurt her feelings, Elsa said. I just didn't want her to ruin her surprise. You know, I think what she'd really like is to just spend time with you. You should go talk to her, said Kristoff. Thanks, Kristoff. I will, she said, running out of the room. Elsa rushed out into the snowy courtyard. Anna, where are you? She called, looking around. Please come out. I'm so sorry, Anna. I just splat. A snowball hit Elsa right in the face. <laughs> Surprise! I yelled, jumping from behind a tree. W what? Elsa sputtered, brushing the snow off her face. Did you just... I giggled. <laughs> it's a snowball intervention, Elsa, I said dramatically. Since you don't have any time for me, I'm declaring war. I knew Kristoff could get you out here. Kristoff is always there to help. Elsa started to grin. Anna, she said. I think you're forgetting which one of us has magical ice powers. She made a huge snowball and hurled it at me. But I was ready for her. I had prepared a whole pile of snowballs myself. The snowball fight went on and on until at last Elsa called a truce. It was time for us to get ready for the ball. Elsa glanced slyly at me, then hurled one final snowball. Oof! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And then she raced inside. Gotcha, she called over her shoulder. <laughs> Isn't Elsa fun? <laughs> that night, the two of us greeted all of our guests. As I looked around the banquet room, I noticed Elsa's cookies, her punch, and her beautiful ice sculpture. Did you do this for me? I said. Elsa nodded. I wanted to give you the perfect gift. It's all lovely, I said. And it's very sweet of you. But for me, the best present is being with you. For me too, said Elsa. And linking arms, the two of us went off to enjoy the party together. The end. Well, I hope all of you enjoyed that story today. And I hope you're enjoying the snow. I hope you have snow where you live. I know we do here in Arendelle. And I was having lots of fun with Olaf in it today. <laughs> we love having fun in the snow. <laughs> well, Elsa's not always here. But that's okay. We go visit her at the North Mountain all the time and in the Enchanted Forest. So I wish you all the best. Happy holidays and goodbye everyone. <laughs>